Gordon. Hello, I'm Jamie J. Carr with Gamer Star Legion, and I'm joined by Gibson Gaming and Shields. Is that is that how you you, you say it? Shields? Is that Shields, how? Shields, perfect. Yeah. Where did that come from? Is that a nickname or is that uh, your real no, name? It, no, that's my uh, stepdad's second name. Oh, so cool, kinda, cool. Yeah, I'm quite boring. Apologies. <laughs> 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 Everyone's like, oh my God, that's so creative. No, no I, I'm quite. <laughs> it's more creative than my name, uh, Jamie J. Carr, which is my real name is Jamie Carney, but I just didn't think it was punchy enough. So I was like, we need to mess this around. Well, a bit, it you rolls know? off the tongue, I guess, you know, so. I'll take it. I'll take it. So Gibson Game and tell us all about uh, Gamer Star Legion uh, esports tournament that's coming up with Rainbow Six Siege. What's yes. happening? So we currently have registrations open for a Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege tournament that we are now running called the GSL. We have well over 1,600 euro worth of prizes was up for grabs. Yes. And not only do we have that amount of money, it's going up. You know, we crowdfund even more. We're hoping to hit maybe 2K, maybe even more by the time the tournament's over. But the most exciting thing about this is we've brought uh, the Gamer Store Legion on board, who we didn't have in Season 1. And not only that, we've also got the backing of Ubisoft themselves. So Ubisoft have seen the turn Season 1. They loved it. They've given us some prizes for Season 2, and they're going to give us some more support for it as well. So it's, it's really exciting times ahead, Jamie. Nice. So tell us how yourself and, and Shields there um, became incorporated with one another and how did this start? <laughs> well, will I take that one or will you, Reese? I'll take it if you, if you don't mind, Gibson. So, so yeah, I was just casually, you know, um, just streaming one day and I it's weird because I never, when someone suggested my viewership, someone to raid after streams, like sometimes I don't usually accept it. Not, not against any of you, but sometimes it's usually just like, it usually doesn't go uh, too well. I haven't had the best experience, but for some reason we had, I had this uh, Irish viewer called Luke and he suggested, he was like, oh, I have another Irish stream. We play Rocket League right now. A, a, a dude called Gibson. He was like, he has the same mindset as you. He brings the kind of same positive vibes, the kind of the way you stream. And he also plays Rainbow Six Siege. And I was like, and I don't know why. I was just one day, I was like, <laughs> okay, all right, Luke. You know what, you're not, I'll, I'll raid him. And then I raided him. And then ever since then, uh, Gibson asked me to fl- play a few games with him on, on Rainbow, like off stream and, after that, it, we became best friends. Oh, that's, <laughs> lovely. that's lovely. That is. I feel like I, I wish I could give you a hug through the Zoom. <laughs> that's, that's that's amazing. COVID yeah. hugs. So we're, we're yeah, just like elbows. that's the thing about the Twitch streaming, isn't it? That's the thing about it is you can you can really m- make friends on it. I know there's you know there's there's downfalls to the internet and there's downfalls to streaming as there is to everything, but uh, there is positives as well, and that's definitely one of them. Um, so now that's a lovely a lovely story. So yeah. Obviously, um, Gamer Star Legion have had great success with their Fortnite tor- tournament that that happened recently with the Garrett Show. Give us your thoughts on that, um, Gibson, and how do you think that went? And are you willing? Are you trying to make this as successful as that one, or is this a, a standalone one on its own? This tournament yeah. coming up. So obviously, it was great to have Gara on board for the Fortnite tournament. Most people on the Irish stream and scene know who he is. He's a fantastic guy. Loves supporting Irish streamers, and I think Fortnite was the perfect tournament for him to host for the gamer store legion and with the amount of prize money they had the viewership they had it was a great tournament and i must say it was run so so well that's what i'm going to say about the fortnite tournament unfortunately when it comes to fortnite i'm not a fortnite player you know i've <laughs> i think i played maybe one game of it once came second and was just like yeah this this isn't for me you know I, unless i won my first game at something guys i'm done you know that's, yeah. the, way, <laughs> that's the way i play but uh but no, we. Uh, I watched a little bit of it. You know, I watched it because I thought Gara was entertaining, and I like mm-hmm. to support the Legion. So early on in the process of the season one of the GSL, I got speaking to Stuart and the guys at you know the Legion, and they were kind of talking about getting into the esports world. And they talked, you know, as soon as they said, "Right, we're hosting a Fortnite tournament," I was like, "Right here, we already run a siege tournament. I'm in the Legion. <laughs> Why not? Let's shake hands. Let's make a deal." And a deal was made, and we are now going to be the second event run by, you know, the Legion Esports series. And it'll be very different, Jamie. You know, they're very different games, very different audiences between Fortnite and Siege. I yeah. think Siege will bring in more of a mature, you know, they're both highly competitive. Don't get me wrong. You know, those players in Fortnite, they're so skilled at what they do. But it is a younger audience. Mm-hmm. And Siege brings more of a mature audience, and I think it's more teamwork-based. So, Siege being a five versus five search and destroy type game, it's way more focused on teamwork and it has to be a league format. You can't really do a straight knockout when it's 
when it's teams. So we're going to run it as as a league, Jamie. So there's mm-hmm. going to be two groups. Every team in the groups will play each other twice, and then the top two teams from each group will go into a semi final and a final. And it'll, you know, with it going on for maybe fourteen to sixteen weeks, it'll be a uh, It'll keep people busy. You know what I mean? If you're if you're cold and lonely on a Monday or Tuesday night and you like I am cold you know, and lonely most Monday. <laughs> and you know, if you like a bit of a, you know, a bit of a Donegal accent, you like a bit of you know, maybe that accent Reese has, I'll not disclose his location. It's super secret. But uh we've all, we've also got Crot, who's the looks behind the tournament. He unfortunately can't make it with us or make it here today. And you've also got Drifter from London, uh, you know, an Insta verified music producer, ooh, random ooh, plug ooh, there from. Check him out if you haven't already. Play us but, a uh, song. Play us er, a song. You know, if you're lonely on a Monday, Monday or Tuesday night, come check us out. We're friendly streamers. We try to keep them interactive too. It's not your normal esports tournament where it's all action and mm-hmm. you know the casters completely ignore chat. Where possible, we still interact with chat because we know where we came from. You know, we're we're all about the community, and that's what we want to make the GSL two about as well. We want to keep that community atmosphere about the tournament too. And Shields, um, w- what goes into setting up a, a tournament like this, and 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 and, and is it is it, is there a lot behind the scenes going on? Are you like uh, ducks, you know, on on the, on the river? You look like you're <laughs> still sailing, but underneath the legs are going ninety. Um, well, yeah, there's definitely a lot that goes uh, on, uh, you know, b- you know, behind doors before the games go on, because with, with how Gibson and I definitely do things with our community, it's a positive atmosphere. We, you know, life can be, you know, toxic at times, definitely in the online world with some keyboard warriors. We try, I don't, I don't have any of that, you know, Gibson doesn't have it. So with, it's not only just people are playing this community, um, you know, we're friends with, they bring a positive atmosphere. So we make sure all teams, so for example, last season we had seven teams, this season we'll probably have about 14. We make sure we, we talk to the captains each week, make sure they talk to the players, make sure everyone's, you know, mingling together because it's, I know it's an event, but it's to make sure everyone's happy. So that's the main focus. Everyone is enjoying themselves. Everyone is vibing together. And that's kind of what we do back though, you know, every day or sorry, every week we, you know, we talk to each captain. I could kind of further it on and, you know, other other knickknacks, if someone's working, we'll try and make sure the time works for them. If someone has school, can't play too late. We just kind of go to it. It's just kind of, how can I say it? It's, yeah, I don't even know. I kind of, I just baffled there, but yeah. Oh, I get you. I get you. Um, and tell us about the the prize breakdown here. That's 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 happening in in. And do you have to be, a Rainbow Six Siege pro to play this tournament, or can you pick up a controller, practice for a couple of days, and then join in for the crack? Like, what what what's that like? Uh, you don't have to be. You don't have to be a pro. You have to be at least level fifty in the okay. game, which will probably take you about 20 plus hours to get to if you kind of, you know, keep consistently. We just say that because we don't want you to be brand new. You know, I, mm-hmm. I want you to mm-hmm. understand actually how to play the game, what's it about. But we have we have ranks all the way from, you know, your copper all the way to diamond. And so it doesn't matter if you're really good or really bad, uh, everyone makes it together. And I, I feel that that's what it makes this tournament a lot more different than other siege tournaments is you see the interactions between lower skills and higher skills, which you actually, funny enough, it actually can counteract. You see some of the lower skills clutch it out or have a really good moment because the higher skills are like, they can't understand. Because sometimes when you get the higher level play, people are doing kind of the same thing. We're trying to outsmart. You're, but- you're, all, you're overthinking it. You know, you're, you're thinking from every, because you have you're so much experience in the game where maybe somebody who's a little bit fresher might come in and just blow the, blow the head off. <laughs> But that's it. It's like scream. It's like, why is he there? Like, you're like, that's not a good place to be. But actually, it works out. And <laughs> I love that so much. And then obviously, yeah. you, can't, you can't, you know, you love the little people that maybe not, you know, do so well. And then they have a clutch moment. That is the most exciting. Definitely for a caster. Like, I've lost my voice a few times to see some people that are already learning the game to absolutely win the round for the team. So, so there is still time, Gibson. Would you say for somebody maybe to pick up the controller? When when does the tournament start? April twenty fourth, is it? Uh, no. So April thirtieth is the end of the sign ups. Okay. So you can sign up to join the tournament by April thirtieth. To do so, you have to, you know, you're agreeing to use anti cheat software, which I think everyone's okay with. Nobody wants to see cheating. And uh, you're <laughs> going you're going to provide your rank. You know what your rank in the game is. You're going to give your you know your there's a thing called R six tracker where you can look up your profile and it gives you all your stats. Just sharing stuff like that with us so we can then choose who takes part in the tournament. Like Shield said, it doesn't matter what rank you are, there's a place for you. 
we're very, very open and honest about how we do the tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, usually the 14 best players will be the captains. Now, best players, very subjective, Jamie. You know, some people might say it's oh, the best players, person with the best team. No, our consideration is for the best player as the best captain, the people who we think will raise the level of their team based on the roles that they're comfortable in playing, based on their hours play, stuff like that. Every other player then will be assigned a tier. So, you know, if you're newer to the game, you'll be a tier five. If you're, you know, comfortable with the game, but not great, you'll be a tier four. Tier three are people who'd be, you know, you're kind of everyday players, but not too serious. Then tier twos are the guys who just missed out on tier one. These are the guys who are pushing really, really hard, really, really good players. And then the captains will take turns taking a player from each tier. And that should balance out the teams. And Jimmy, what we want to, what we've seen in season one and what we want to continue to see in season two is the tier fives and tier four players elevating themselves up. Like if you were to compare some of the players who were new to the game in season one to what they were like at the end, they went from maybe copper to gold to plat. You know, they really, really improved. And the ones who did improve put it all on their captains and their teams. You know, the communication, the getting to know your team, having each other's back. You know, that's what we're that's what we're focused on in season two is get to know your team. Forget about the prize money. Just have that team mentality. It's you against the world. You know, have your team's back. If us casters say something negative about your team having a bit of crack, you know, come back at us. You know, <laughs> counter, <laughs> counter punch it. But yeah, as I said, April 30th is when you can finish reg uh, registering for the tournament. You'll know by the 8th of May whether or not you got in. But if you don't get in, do not fear. There's still loads of opportunity for you to take part because we're hoping to have 70 players, but we're also hoping to have maybe 15 to 20 subs available so that if a player can't make it, like Reese said, we're very, you know, we're very flexible where we can be, but sometimes someone just can't make it. So we need to have a pool of subs as well. And if you do come into the league as a sub and your team that you sub for does win, there, you know, you, you might get a little bit of something. Oh, it's and sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're hoping to start, I think, on the... So we're going to have the kind of open an event on the 29th, which is a Saturday, which is going to be like the big press conference after Reese's big seed Saturday tournaments, which I'm sure he'll tell you more about later on today. And then the first games will start on Monday the 31st. So that means that once you've done watching the, seed, the R6 Invitational in May and you've got those competitive juices flowing, straight into the GSL to have some fun. Nice. So there is a... There is like, there's a lot of uh, entertainment for people just watching who aren't even in this tournament as well. You know, something to look forward to every week. And is it two nights a week that this will be running? It, it is a 14-week tournament, if I believe, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Picture, picture your Champions League, Jimmy. You've got your, it's Champions League, it be Tuesdays or Wednesdays. We're Mondays and Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So you're only going to have one fixture a week. That's the way we're kind of scheduling it. So even though we're going to have you know, three games on a Monday, three games on a Tuesday, that's 12 teams playing every week. It just means that two teams are going to get a week off, but it means it's not too much of a time commitment. And then maybe one or two Saturdays a month, we'll have our big press conference where we bring in all the captains. We have a bit of fun on stream. We talk about what's going on in the wider siege world. And we're hoping to bring some more value to the viewer too. Like uh, Shields, we have spoken about bringing in guides in season two in the press conference. So, these little like two minute clips on how to attack or defend a specific site. So the people who are watching who've necess you know, not necessarily played the game can watch and learn some tips as well from experts. Like we have some amazing experts taking part as well are going to help us out with that. Fantastic. It sounds exciting. Um, so tell us a bit about the prize breakdown as well, uh, Gibson. And, and what can people win? Because I know as, as a, as a, as a mon money hungry man, right? <laughs> I'd be looking at the prize. <laughs> what can I win? What can I win? You yeah. Know, so. Well, you know what they say? It's the taking part that counts. It's like having fun. <laughs> but if you do win, guys, if you do win or if you come second or third, there are prizes you can win. So the Gamer Store Legion have put forward 600 euro worth of cash and 300 euro worth of vouchers. So they're giving us, you know, 900 euro worth of cash and cash equivalents. And Ubisoft then are providing another 600 euro worth of prizes. So that brings it up to 1500 euro. And then me, myself, I'm putting 100 euro of my own money in as well because uh, I am invested in this. I want this to be a success. We all want this to be one of the biggest R6 events on the calendar that isn't necessarily an Ubisoft event. So I'm investing in this too, Jamie. So 
over 1600 euro worth of prizes available for players and growing every day. Fantastic. That's brilliant stuff. And it must feel nice after the on the force one now to be the second one with getting these these brands on board as well for yourselves. Is it does it does it feel good to be getting that recognition? Because I know I know a lot of hard work goes into setting up tournaments like this um, and a lot of dedication with the, you know, uh, taking the two nights a week and then you're working, you know, the day before as well and probably the day after on things for the next week. Mm-hmm. So it does take a lot of time and it is con- time consuming to do it. So fair play to you. Is, um, is it nice to have uh, great brands such as Gamerstar.ie and, and Ubisoft helping you out with this? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. We were like little little kiddies when we we heard the news, <laughs> you know, jumping around us around the place. Of course, you're too kind. Uh, you know, I like we enjoy doing this. You know, even if there was no pay payback or whatnot, I was gonna do. I'd be doing this anyway. And I'm sure Gibson, you're the same. It's something to you know do in the evening, even just the event itself. But I'm super happy, and you know, to have Gamer Star and have Ubisoft. I I still I'm still over the moon. Like I I went I went to my mom's. When I when I heard and and I was telling her, I bless her heart, you know, you know, the internet's still a bit confusing and everything. She didn't really know what I meant, but she was like, you know, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you, Reese. But I don't know, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing a, a video on on the streets of like asking them about esports <laughs> and stuff just to get some some funny reactions on that. So I totally get where where you're coming from and that. Um, oh, so you yeah. should please do that because you could you could just compare it to like football. It's like why would you want to watch someone else play a video game? Like, well, you know, you watch someone else play football. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You're you're dead right. So give us give us a quick roundup again, lads, of, of what's happening, all the details needed, how people can get involved, and where to watch it before we, we finish up. Yep. Yeah. So first off, once again, reminder: if you want to take part, you just have to give me your bank account details. You have to give me your start <laughs> code and your address. <laughs> With that small initial investment, I can make sure you've got the easiest fixtures. I can make sure you get the best players. <laughs> I'm Legal reasons what he just said is not supported by Gamerstar.ie. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just have kidding. That yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just bleep the whole thing out. In the air. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, guys. Honestly, if you want to get involved and you want to take part, first off, make sure and hit myself, Reese, Crot stuff, and drift up with follows on Twitch because that's where the games will be played. My channel, Shields channel, Crot's channel and Drift as it'll be two channels a week. So it might be the Monday and the Tuesday on uh, Crot and Reese's channel. Then it might be Dr- me and Drifter's channel the next week. The reason we're Do doing that give is... Us the name of the, the channel so we can pop them up on screen. Okay. Or, or so anything. are you going to do a little bing when I put my fingers up? Do you, you know, you <laughs> I'm can not get... editing, so yeah, we will. Uh, well, <laughs> well then here, I'm going to give the gamers to guys oh, a bit yeah, of work. So yeah. you can get your <laughs> games on Gibson Gaming PC. Shields underscore 090. <laughs> Drifted Gaming TV. Is there one more? I'll do the last Crot one. Stuff. I'll, do, I'll do the last one. What's the last one? Crot, Crot Stuff. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <The editors laughs> like this. I love it. Jesus Christ, it was going well up until now. I love it. But yeah, so it'll be on all of our channels. And the reason being is we're all content creators. We all have our individual goals. We want to grow our channels as well. And we want to share the love season. One, it was all on myself and Shields channel. This season, we want to give some love back to the two lads who unfortunately aren't here today, Crot Stuff and Drifter, but they're every bit as much a part of the success that we've had as we are. So big shout out to those guys. If you want to register, you go to https uh, colon forward slash forward slash www.gamerstore.ie forward slash rainbow six. That is the number six, (laughs) not the word six. And once you've done doing that, guys, make sure you also check out that website for all your peripherals and trust gaming uh, trust gaming product needs. 10% off sale. Just uh, type in the code Jamie J. Carr right there. <laughs> but no, honestly, guys, no, so if Gibson, you want to... Gibson Gaming, Gibson what do you gaming, mean? Yeah, that, yeah, Gibson yeah. Gaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's his yeah. tournament. Fight, it's his fight, tournament. fight. Gibson fight. Gaming, <laughs> but no, go to the website, get your registration up. It'll take less than five minutes. You'll get a little confirmation a message on screen once you've signed up. And like I said, you've got till April 30th. Get your name down, get involved, have a bit of fun, and you'll meet some amazing people through it. And it sounds like with you lads, you'll have to crack anyway. Do you know what I mean? Even if they die in the fourth round, uh, these are funny lads, and I'm sure people are going to enjoy this one. I wish you uh, the best of luck with it. Is there anything else we, we go over real quick before we head off, or do we have all, do we have all the details? Shields, what are you thinking? 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, go to go to go to Darren quickly, and then I'll see if I can come up with something. Don't use my real name. But it says it on screen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> Look, the GSL is something that you know we all kind of believe in here. It's a big part of everything we do, and we're delighted to have GamerStore.e involved. You know, and it's natural considering that you know, Jamie, you're part of the Legion. I'm part of the Legion. I'm not going to say anything else. But uh, but yeah, it's really, really important that we, we kind of work together to make this a really, really big thing. And who knows? Maybe the GSL could become something more. You know, maybe yeah. something more than Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm no, I know for a fact that Legion Esports are delighted to have us as part of their brand. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Right. Have you had time, Shields, to think yep. now? Yep. Pressure's yep. on you. The pressure's on <laughs> you. <laughs> just for anyone, obviously, just like really quickly, if you have, want any more kind of news on what uh, the GSL is, remember, because I know with, you know, teamwork games, solo queuing can be a bit of a disaster. And what, you know, Gibson was saying earlier is teamwork makes a dream work. You will get to know your captain. You will get to know your team and you will have players to play with after. So if even if it's, as we said, it's not about the prize, but, you know, take a part, you're making friends. You'll actually have people to play the game because, you know what it's like you you know yourself with like random randoms online unfortunately it, the communication can be a bit iffy so even if it's just something as simple as that guys just making friends and being able to have a squad to play in siege come join the gsl it's going to be a blast there you go you heard it from the lads themselves check out gamerstar.ie for more information on this we will have updates we'll be having uh some some uh semi-weekly calls not semi it's what would you say bi-weekly every two weeks or three weeks uh catching up and seeing how the lads are getting on uh with the tournament so uh we'll see more from reese and gibson gaming right here wherever you're watching this video right now i'm sure it's on gamerstar youtube and on the social media as well so so make sure you hit the subscribe button the notification bell leave a comment below as well and let us know um have you ever played rainbow six w will you be entering the tournament how difficult is it whatever you want to or, or even a question to the lads leave it below and i'm sure they'll get back to you on that as well fantastic stuff i wish is nothing but the best of luck on this one i'll be tuning in with me popcorn because i am very sad and lonely <laughs> most monday and tuesday nights and uh <laughs> it's okay be, you can come cuddle with us crack. that's fine <laughs> <laughs> it should be good crack best of luck with it lads Hey, thanks for having us, Jamie. Thanks, Legends. 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 I'm going to stop recording now and...